Hello students, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSIPU College, Mysore. Today is our 14th session of Chapter 4, Data Structure. So in the previous session, we have studied about the applications of stack and how to convert from infix to prefix as well as postfix expression. In today's session, we are going to study about queues. So what is a queue? A queue is an ordered collection of items where insertion of elements and deletion of elements always takes place at different ends is called as queue. A queue is an ordered collection of items where insertion of an item and deletion of an item takes place at different end takes place at different ends is called as a queue. So consider a queue is a linear array. So these are the index. So it contains some elements called 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, insertion of an element takes place at the end of the queue called rare and deletion of an element in a queue takes place at the front end called as front. So, here front is a pointer which contains the location of the element to be deleted and rear is a pointer which contains the location of the item to be added. So, this is about a queue. So, the difference between the stack and queue is in the removal of an item. So, in a stack we are going to insert and delete an item at a common end but in a queue we are going to insert an element and delete an element at different endpoints called front and rear respectively. So this is a major difference between stacks and queues. So now let's see what are all the operations we can perform on Q. Operations on Q. So the first operation is we are creating a empty Q. For that we require Q function. So this function is going to create an empty Q. It does not require any parameter and returns an empty queue. It creates a new queue that is empty and it does not require any parameters, no parameters and returns an empty queue. Second one is NQ operation, NQ function. NQ function is nothing but inserting an item inserting or adding an item 
into the q into the q it requires a parameter call item it requires a parameter and returns nothing and returns nothing this operation is called as push operation this operation is called as push operation is called as push operation next type of operation is dq operation dq function so it is nothing but deleting or removal of an item from the front end of the queue deleting or removing of an item of an item from the queue it does not requires any parameter here it does not require any parameter so after deleting an item it alters the queue it alters the q and returns the item and returns the item so this operation is called as pop operation this operation is called as pop operation called as pop operation next type of operation is is empty function so it is used to check whether the queue is empty or not it does not requires any parameter and it returns boolean value used to check the queue is empty q is empty it does not need any parameter and returns boolean value and last type of operation is size function it is used to return the number of items present in the queue and it does not require any parameter but it will return an integer it is used to it returns the number of items number of items in the queue number of items in the queue it does not require not require any parameter and returns an integer value so these are all the list of operations so what we can perform on queue the first operation is queue operation it is used to create a new queue that is an empty queue and it does not require any parameters and does not return any value but it returns an empty queue the second operation is in queue function so this is used to insert or add an item into the queue it it requires a parameter called item 
and it returns nothing. This operation is usually called as push operation. Adding an item into the queue is called as push operation. When it comes to DQ function, deleting or removing an item from the queue is called as DQ function. It does not require any parameter but it will return the item. After deleting an item, it modifies the queue. The fourth operation is, is empty function. It is used to check the queue is empty or not. It does not require any parameter and it returns a boolean value if the queue is empty or not. Next fifth operation is size function. It is used to return the number of items present in the queue. It does not require any parameter and returns an integer value. A real time example for Q is fees cut the college bartira. College banda gain agarate, fees cut sectionally, Q formation agarate. How the for example in the admission section. So first oba person band in tirtane, next in oba hagen in tirtira. How the so Henge now fees cut is cotive, obra mele, obra tra fees cuts cotive and thunder. So first yar hoger tare, oratra now fees cut is cotive. I'll put to Madia the Lirorat will last a little of the cut is cotiva illa. So insertion, ella thrute, obobre bandu bandu, elinda nilkota thre, end of the queue. So end of the queue li enagate, person so add up a hook tare. So this is called as insertion point that is rare point so deletion ella aktirutte iga yundu admission fees cut aitu so avag en aktare ivru hogtare next person il bartare so id enagutte deletion point so which is nothing but the front point front end so this is how it works so this is actually what is the concept of q so this q follows FIFO that is first in first out technique. It follows first in first out technique. So here see that the first person who comes first is going to be deleted first. So that is the concept of FIFO that is first in first out. So what is a queue? A queue is a collection of items where insertion and deletion of an item takes place at different ends. So in queue, we can perform different operations that is uh, queue function, nq, dq is empty as well as size operations we can perform and queue follows FIFO technique that is first in first out technique. So now let us see the different types of queues. So the different types of queues are simple queue, priority queue, circular queue and double ended queue. types of queues. The first one is simple queue, simple queue. So what is simple queue? A simple queue is a queue where insertion of an item takes place At the end of the queue called as rare, it is the rare point where the deletion of the item takes place at the front end is called as simple queue where insertion of an item takes place at the end of the queue and deletion of an element takes place at the front of the queue called as front. 
So here front is equal to 0, rear is equal to, rear is equal to 4. So if I want to add some items into the queue, then we have to increment the rare pointer that is rare is equal to rare plus 1. So if I want to add an item into the queue, we have to increment the rare pointer. So at the rare point, we are going to insert an item. So this is about simple queue. Next type of queue is circular queue. Circular queue. So it looks same as simple queue, but A circular queue is a queue in which all nodes are treated as circular in such that the last node follows the first node to form a circle. So this is about circular queue. And third type of queue is priority queue. Priority queue. So what is priority the meaning of the word priority, priority and tandreno. priority queue. So, it works based on some priorities. So, yavike first importance kodu beko, adunna first execute maanate. Aamele next, next highest priority yavike irute, adunna execute maanate hogute. For example, ega na u priority queue nalli, hmm, real time example togolo daadre, exams bari beka adre, Kelo brain martare, first to one mark questions na ten martare, two marks questions na, and the yaltara pattern rita question paper lahage barkon hoktare. In kelo brain martare, marks it priority kutu, two barita hoktare. So first ten martare, five marks questions na ten martare, amel three mark questions na ten martare, next two marks na ten martare, one mark questions na ten martare. Ya ken tare, five mark questions ge. It consumes a lot of time while writing alva. So, adhe first day na no enadu one mark, two mark questions ke jasti time spend non putre. Five mark questions ke jasti na no time spend mana kaagala. So, ava ke na the time mukh do the five mark questions atne mana kaagala. I may lose some marks. So, to avoid that, what I am going to do first, I will write five mark questions. Then I will go for three. 3 mark questions, then I will go for 2 marks as well as 1 mark questions. So this is how this priority queue also work. So based on some preset priorities, it is going to perform the operations. Next type of queue is double ended queue. Double ended queue. So this is a queue where insertion and deletion of an item takes place at both the ends. Where insertion and deletion of an item takes place at both the ends is called as double ended queue. So these are all the four types of queues. Thank you.